Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to keep the Crown of Baron Zaya and the Unusual Gems from the No Stone Unturned quest. Usually you need to collect all 24 of the gems in order to get the crown, but there is a glitch that lets you get it without that, so we'll be doing that here. First, you want to head to Tovald's Cave. If you don't know, this is where the crown is actually located. You're going to need to get about halfway through this cave, so I'm just going to run through it real quickly. You can follow my movements. Right here, this stone wall is going to be closed off until you open this chest, and then some Falmer are going to come out and attack you. And right down here, you'll see this ghost. Behind this wall is where the Crown of Baron Zaya is. You're going to want to use a platter or a plate or anything to try and clip through the wall. There we go. You don't need the Whirlwind, shout, uh, whirlwind Sprint Shout for this, but it is a lot easier if you have it. Now that we're here, you're going to see that the crown's right here. You don't want to pick it up immediately. We're going to be using a dead load glitch in order to keep the crown. If you don't know how to do that, I just uploaded another video. I'll leave a link down into the description that explains how to do it and all the different uses for it. But first, you're going to want to create a save before you pick it up. And then you're going to want to pick up the crown and create a new save. Don't override your last one. And then you're going to want to load the first save before you picked up the crown. Now that you're back here, you're going to walk up to the crown to where you have the take prompt. You're going to set up your dead load. You're obviously, if you don't know how to do it, once again, check out my other video. But you're going to put on your fortify health and eat your scathe craw. Good enough. And then you're going to want to create a third save right here, just in case you mess it up. And from here, you want to load the second save that you made after you picked up the crown. And on this loading screen, you're just going to spam the pick up button like you would when you're dead load duping. And as you can see, we now have 27 crown of Baron's Eye. Now in order to get out of here, you're just going to have to clip back out through the doorway that you came in with. It'll be right here in this little in cove, I guess. And then we can head back to uh, the Thieves Guild to give the crown to Vex. This will require you to have done at least a little bit of the Thieves Guild quest until after you've got the money from the merchants. Or else Vex won't talk to you at all. Here we are with Vex. Just gonna We're just going to tell her that we found the crown of Baron Zaya. Well, I'm not one to welch on a deal. So She's going to give you the reward. Prowler's Profit Hope perk and remove piece. one of the crowns from your inventory. You know if you don't know, Prowler's Profit means you have a higher chance of finding those? gems and containers. Right but one very important thing to note is that with the Crown of Baron's Eye, if you drop it and pick it back up, it will be marked as a quest item again. And also, if you drop more than one, only one will drop on the ground. You can put them in containers and take them back without worrying job. about it, but if you drop it, and pick it back up, it will be marked as a quest item. Another benefit of this glitch is that any unusual gems you find will no longer be marked as a quest item. They don't work like the crown, so you don't have to worry about them becoming quest items again after you drop them. 
I hope this video helped you guys out. If you want to talk to me or you just want any help with any of these glitches, you can join my Discord. I'll leave a link down in the description. See you later.